Down in Pullman, there's an athlete by the name of Jack Wilson, who's as big as they come. About the only thing larger than him is the idea of what he's accomplished over the past year. Yeah, I work really hard, but I also have these crazy genetics, so I, I like just understand that I might as well use them as best as I can. A name Washington State fans will remember. You see Jack Wilson right there, the tackle, the tallest football player in Washington State history. He is six foot eleven. Not only is Jack Wilson the tallest football player in program history, but he's also the first to play football and basketball since 2008. And I think football really complements it. I was already kind of a physical player. Something about it has just felt really good on the basketball court. I'm more relaxed. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. I feel like a different person on the court. When you hear Wilson's story, you think football player turned basketball big man, but it's actually the opposite. Wilson's collegiate career began in basketball, spending his freshman year on Oregon State's team before transferring to Idaho. After two seasons, he decided it was time to stop playing basketball and transfer to WSU to focus on his future career. I had my sights on becoming a strength coach. Like that's where I was at. I was ready to get into that. Um, get like kind of a jump start on my career. That jump start was interning with the Coug strength and conditioning staff, where they saw his strength and size, which later led to football head coach Jake Dickert getting Jack on the team for a sport he'd never played. Um, it was kind of like a one year thing, see how it goes. I ended up earning a scholarship for this last season and I mean, it was a blessing. After two seasons of football, Jack thought it was time to go back to his original plan. But then a slew of injuries hit the WSU basketball team. Luckily, knew him way back when he was a sophomore in high school going his junior year. So I knew he could play basketball and he tried to stay in a football. And then we had an injury, season and injury for one of our guys. I was like, I called up Jake. I said, hey, I don't know how much Jack's playing for you right now, this and that. But gosh, you might, we might need him this year. But Jack was up for it and it's been uh, great, great to have him around. So Jack, the now football player, got back on the court. I saw one of his workouts you know, the one day and I was like, whoa, Dude's actually like good. Like I didn't, I honestly, I didn't know what to expect the whole time, but I was expecting to be like a football player, just kind of going down there and banging and stuff. I definitely was surprised with his skill set. It's really been a blessing to come back to basketball. I think I didn't really leave it. it. It was something I did my whole life, and I did a lot of growing up from the time I stopped to now, and coming back to it has been really cool. It's. I don't know, fun's not even the word. It's just like a wild experience and I just take it in every day and try to make the most of it. Now, interesting aspect here. Wilson still has a year of eligibility due to COVID, but it's only in basketball because he was playing basketball when the COVID year happened. So we'll see if he winds up deciding to keep playing. Not sure what'll happen there. Jeez. It makes it look really easy. Like, <laughs> yeah. No big deal. Yeah. I mean, to be born 6'11 and have that frame, right? Yeah. And he moves well. And he moves very well. That's what all the, his teammates were saying. So. That's cool. Yeah. What a good story. Yeah. Good <laughs> luck guarding you. that guy down there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much.